leggings. How aesthetic is this packaging? Oh, you sunk into that. It's actually not morning, it's 2 p.m. But I've been on work calls all morning and I'm not gonna lie, I am currently starving. I need to make myself something to eat. I'm tired, I'm talked out. I've done so many like meetings and phone calls and things and I'm just watching Marin at first sight and trying to just, you know. <laughs> that. <laughs> But I'm so tired. I had two days this week where I was really, really busy. I couldn't film because I was doing secret projecty things. And I wish I could have showed you and told you and all those things, but I couldn't. And it's Wednesday and we're starting the vlog. But I do have a parcel that just turned up, so I wanted to quickly open that with you. And then I was going to do a try on of the naked stuff in a vlog, but I actually think I might do a separate haul video because apparently the code is going to be 48 hours only. I'm trying to get that changed, but um, I thought I would put it up as like a try on haul so that you guys can shop. Um, shop the naked stuff because i know a few of you said you were trying to buy and you couldn't so hopefully you did still manage to buy just without the code but i'm going to try and get another little one done and i have hello fresh turning up in a minute which is exciting we picked some different meals to what we usually would to be honest james picked most of them because i thought last time i picked them all so it'd be nice if he picked a couple so he's got a couple coming that he's really excited for some of them are like pork but i thought that what we could do is I could still have it, but just put like chicken or tofu instead for me, then he could have the pork or the beef or the whatever it is he's ordered. And then it means that he's got leftovers, so we could either let him use that for something else, or I don't, I don't really know, but we're gonna see what happens because he eats all meat and we're trying to make sure that he continues eating all meat. But when he eats with me, we end up eating a lot more chicken or tofu and like vegan alternatives. So we're trying to make sure James doesn't get an intolerance to dairy for one, because you can build up an intolerance if you cut something out too much. And for two, he just wants to start incorporating like steak and stuff back in, which is totally fine. So he's gonna do that. But um, let me show you this parcel because it's over here and I got it out ready to, to show you on a vlog and forgot. So let me prop you up and I'll show you. Okay. You can't even see my face. Let me <laughs> change camera angle. There we go. Not the best angle in the world, but at least you can see my face now. We have a giant box. It says out of the blue. Ooh, what have we got in here? We hope you enjoy your skin blue filter supplements. So this is advanced nutrition. You've probably heard me talk about these a bazillion gajillion times. I use them for literally everything. I've got pretty much their entire collection. I take the vitamins every day. I did have the collagen ones, but I've just run out. I have Skin Acumax, which is really good for like clearing your skin. I've got a youth one, which is for like youthful skin. I've got Amigas. I've got the Ultimate, which is like the daily vitamins, but like everything you need. Every day. Basically, I use them a lot. But this is the new Skin Filter, Skin Blue Filter range. And this says it's a supplement to shield your skin from the effects of blue light and the sun. So it says on here, specific supplement for all skin types to protect our skin and overall health. It shields skin from within with a synergy of cell protecting nutrients, including a team of targeting antioxidants to provide elevated protection and anti-inflammation benefits. I have to add these to my daily intake. One capsule a day with main meals. Hmm. And it says on here, who is it for? All skin types and ages, particularly anyone looking for age prevention, challenges like sensitivity, inflammatory skin conditions, high environmental exposures, and during spring, summer. So I'm assuming this is for like pretty much every day because I feel like I'm always working on a computer screen so I have a lot of like blue light, but also like I'm always, I've got massive windows in my house so I'm always in the sun. So I wear SPF 24 seven because my house is so in direct sunlight. So these are really good. Can't wait to get those out and try them. And then I've also got um, a hoodie, which is cute. It's a bright blue hoodie that says out of the blue. <laughs> but that's really cool. So I'm gonna add those to my daily supplements, which I need to fill up in a little bit, but I do need to make some lunch. So I probably should get on with that first and foremost. Um, let me work out what I'm having. I'm refusing to put the heating on and it's absolutely for reason in my house right now. So my lunch is, I have my meal plan not loading. And it's saying error downloading file, oh, for God's sake. Prawn tacos is actually tuna tacos, which is actually how I hurt my thumb. <sighs> Looks like we're making tacos, kids. 
Um, first of all, I do need to actually put my fajitas that I had from yesterday into food bags in the freezer. So I'm trying to meal prep as much as I can at the moment and trying to make sure that I've got like a stash of food in my freezer that's kind of like all the meals that I have on a regular basis and just like backups of stuff that's healthy because some of my meals, I've actually specifically asked Roger to do this. Um, I have like portions for four people. Everything I've been making, I've been making in more than one portion. So some of my recipes are specifically for more than one person, but sometimes it's for like, it will be like it will be one and i'll just multiply or whatever and it just means that i've always got a backup of really healthy meals in my freezer and i basically just write on this top bit like what it is and when i put it in there so that i know that nothing's like going out of date or anything and then i've just got loads of food stashed in my freezer and then if i'm like in a rush or something and i don't have time to cook or i just want something quick and easy i can literally just go in my freezer and grab it so i'm gonna pop the um fajita mixes into here and get those done cool Let's get some food bags i don't know if i mentioned but the ikea food bags are actually not um microwave safe and i do it in these because the food bags i already have but also it takes up less space in the freezer than using like tupperware so it just means that i'm fitting more in the freezer and i'm not taking up all the space that we both need because i don't want to be that person that takes up the whole freezer because i'm meal prepping when james also <laughs> also needs to eat so i'm taking up as little space as possible with my meals and then what i'll do is basically I will add into these bags oh, i've got a bit of stuff at the top um i'll put them like this not the most appetizing thing ever but this is my pita mix and then when i get it out i'll obviously just add like a wrap and a handful of vegan cheese and whatever but it just means that the ingredients like this are just put into the freezer i do make sure i date all of them but obviously more so for the chicken and stuff because you want to make sure that you eat it before like a month or whatever so i'm gonna put these in the freezer and then i'm gonna cook I've been doing some of these on TikTok, so I thought I would do them on a weekly vlog too. I'm not sure how I'm focused I am because the lighting seems to not be working, but this is my gym outfit. So black sports bra is a really old one from Jilly Hicks. It's just got like a cute back on it. I love their sports bras. If you haven't tried them, I highly recommend. I also love their leggings and stuff, but I do seem to have more of the sports bras and I wear a small. And then my leggings are um, Gymshark Vital, which are my favourite Gymshark leggings, and these are the grey ones. Um, let me show you in different lighting so you can actually see better. So yeah, this is what they look like. They're just like a nice soft grey. I do find the Gymshark ones kind of tuck in a little bit more here, but I don't necessarily mind that because I think these are better for like holding up if you're doing like cardio or something. So if I go for a run or anything, these are typically the ones I put on. And then I always wear my seam free undies so you can't see them. You can kind of see them on this side because they've bunched up a bit, but I always wear those just that they're a bit more smooth. And yeah. That's basically my gym outfit for today. And I'm gonna put on one of the little H&M cropped t-shirts, which I'll link in a minute. Um, and then I'm gonna quickly moisturize and put my hair properly up because it's just kind of thrown up at the moment and then get my bum to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> it's only half six i'm so tired making a quick pre-workout before i leave and filling up my water which accidentally matches my pre-workout and that makes me very happy these bottles are actually really fab they're from typo which is um which is a little like stationery shop kind of reminds me of like a more gen z version of paper chase but um these are really good they're like a liter and i just i like them i like the shape of them i like everything about them they're probably my favorite water bottle apart from my big two litre, of course. So love that. Um, these ones also are from Amazon. I link these all the time, but I'll link them again for you if you are interested. But today I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. So I do still have a lot of Naked Harvest left. I think we're still going strong on a couple of them. I think we've got, yeah, Fruity Tingle and Blueberry Lemonade, we've got quite a lot. And then Tropical Iced Tea, we're kind of like halfway down. But James bought this one the other day and it's really good. This is the um, PhD Burn in Sherbet Lemon. And to be honest, I wouldn't say I've got like necessarily bundles more energy when I take it, but it's just quite a nice different flavor. Um, and I do think when I use this one, I just have a slight bit more strength. I don't know if that's related to like coming on your period because I know that different times of your cycle, you do have more strength or less strength, but I noticed that I felt stronger. So we're gonna go with it and I'm gonna keep 
trying it every now and then but but he uses my naked harvest all the time so i'm gonna use his phd burn and he's gone to work so he can't moan at me <laughs> so we'll give this a little shake i think i might bring a banana as a little snack in the car because i am starving i don't know why i'm so hungry but we had nando's last night i don't think i mentioned but ebony came over last night and we watched married at first sight the three of us um had a nando's together she brought buddy over which is really cute because buddy's just like the smallest cutest most hyperactive little thing ever and he's just so cute um but yeah the three of us sat on the sofa and had a cute little night together and that was lovely it was really lovely and i'm enjoying maths this year it's it's already seeming like it's going to be a good year but i don't know about anyone else we were saying oh my headphones we were saying that this year's maths seems a little bit rushed so like as we're watching it seems like they really like the honeymoon seemed really rushed and i don't know if that's normal because i swear it's normally like quite a lot of like weddings and then the honeymoons and then it goes to the dinner party like i don't feel like i really saw anything of the honeymoons apart from like two or three that had a little bit of drama but then there's other honeymoons where they were like talking about the couple and like recapping back and they'd show clips and i was like we've never seen this like we literally didn't see this which is really weird because i think they should show more of that kind of stuff but i don't know why they're rushing it so much because australian maths is normally way better at like the consistency throughout and like making it take longer whereas the british one i feel like it was so rushed and i think if they do it again then they need to change that but i'm currently in the process of trying to sign some friends up to different things <laughs> I want some of my friends to go on like Love is Blind UK so I'm trying to make them do it and I'm trying to make them do like maths and stuff and I think they should so yes let's go to the gym full body day got some new in and i thought i'd share it um i've been on the sofa literally for like an hour trying to sort annoying car insurance things apparently <sighs> i'm so angry about this so when i got my car insurance um i remember going on the website and like doing compare the market and stuff and i remember trying to go through to direct line and trying to get a policy with them and being like okay getting on the website doing the whole thing i got to the end for paying and it wouldn't let me pay so i just kind of was like oh okay i obviously don't have a policy went to go back on it to do it and then the website kept crashing and kept doing the same thing so i was like i don't really understand what's going on here so anyway i then thought you know what this is obviously i'm just not meant to get direct line so i went to churchill which was like exactly the same price same cover same whatever um and i got the churchill cover so anyway, fast forward to about a week ago and I get a letter in the post. I put it on the side in the hallway and I was like, do you know what? I'll come back to this. Like I don't have time right now because I've been really, really busy. Like I literally have not stopped for the last week, which is why you didn't get Monday, Tuesday and the weekend and whatever. So I put it on the side and then I was like, okay, remember to do that. So I opened it just now. I've got two car insurance policies at once. Two since November. <laughs> and i'm so angry about it so i paid because i always pay annually just personal preference i always do and i paid annually in november for direct line and churchill to insure my car so i've paid out double for insurance and neither of these companies thought to tell me for six months so direct line never told me churchill just told me so i tried to call churchill couldn't get through i think it's because nearly six o'clock same with direct line direct line i ended up getting through and the guy just was like it got through to a thing like an automated man that was like we can't take your call right now it's too close to closing and i was like oh so i'm now on a whatsapp chat thing that apparently is open till 10 but that's really slow because they're not really opening it so i'm losing my mind with that but i want to get my money back even if i only get the six months that i haven't already done like that's fine because then i did at least get half of it back but i'm so angry that that even was allowed to happen because you're not allowed two car insurance policies so I don't understand how that has happened and I'm really annoyed about it because I didn't know and I didn't realise until literally right now and I need to cancel one of them and I want to get my money back because that's really annoying and it's a lot of money, <sighs> basically. But I did it on a credit card as well so that's why I didn't realise. Anyway, whole long story. So I thought I would show you the bits I got from um, another version. I'm going to show you them like this. And then I'll put on the screen like cutaways because I did just film a reel with them. Um, but this is the first thing. So it's just a like cropped charcoal sweatshirt, little quarter zip, very cute. 
I think I've got this in a large. I actually still have the tag in. I need to take it out. Large. I've got a large. And it looks like this. Very cute. Da -da -da. And then I also have... Okay, I do have a pair of cream leggings. And I don't know where they've just gone. They must be in the other room. But I have a pair of cream leggings. And then I also have them in black. So it's these in black which are really really comfortable i love these for the gym um i actually do have like the mink color you've probably already seen it i've got the mink t-shirt and leggings um so i thought i'd get black as well because i've been trying to get this for ages but these go out of stock all the time so i've got my hands on those i got my hands on the bone ones which are like the white color i'll put the like cut away up so you can see them because i just they must be in the other room but i don't know i don't know where they are um i've actually just had one though so they must be somewhere but um this is the other thing i got so i just got a long sleeved gym top which i mean you don't technically need to wear these to the gym they're just the second skin collection which kind of feels like it's like active wear but you could wear it every day so kind of the same as adenola but just really cute so i've got the long sleeve top and i've got the leggings which i'm going to wear to the gym tomorrow as a little set with a little sports bra and then i'm probably actually going to wear this over the top tomorrow for the gym because it's really cozy and i've got my little <laughs> chelsea piers um orange print bikini bottoms bikini bottoms um pajama bottoms on so very cute and i'm waiting for james to get home from work but annoyingly so he was going to be here sooner but he's stuck in loads of traffic and we were going to go to gail's because i have a voucher gail's gifted me a voucher for hot cross buns what an epic collaboration so we were going to go and get some hot cross buns and coffee but i don't think he's going to be back before they shut so that might have to be something we do on Monday, which is fine because we still need to plan some bits for our next holiday. So I'm thinking we could just go sit in Gales together and like have a hot cross bun and coffee and plan and talk and stuff. But I've literally been sat all day just doing work stuff. Like I filmed a few reels and everything and I've been doing some emails and trying to sort that flipping car insurance out. But I've decided I'm going to start sharing less of like me working and like less talk about working because it's a bit boring for me to edit. So I feel like you probably get bored of me being like, oh, I filmed this reel and I filmed this like YouTube video and stuff. So we're going to have less of that chat. We're just going to have more of my lifey stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the little another version haul. I do need to at some point drag my giant mirror back into into the spare room because it's currently just sat in the middle of this room. And it's it's fine. It just it takes a while to get it through. And then I also have like a clothes rail over there as well, which is all the bits that I used for content that's gone up. But yeah, I need to crack on with some bits. I'll catch up with you in a little bit. I'm starving, so I have been munching on a mini egg chocolate bar. And I had some leftover hummus and pita bread from Nando's last night because I forgot to eat breakfast this morning. And um, I also can't even drink coffee today because I might actually order a Starbucks for myself. I feel like I'm in a terrible mood because of this whole flipping situation. So um, I feel like I'm deserving of a coffee because I'm stressed. So I'm going to order myself a coffee. Anyway, nay bother. It's Hello Fresh night for James. He he did get himself two steaks out of the three meal allowance that we had because I said to him he might as well go ahead and order something fancy for himself that he wouldn't normally have. So he's gone for steaks this evening and it's sirloin steak and peppercorn sauce which actually looks delish. If I was to eat steak, it looks quite good. The steaks actually do look really nice as well. I'll show you in a minute. But um, I'm having salmon and potatoes. So mine's in the oven. His is just on the thing. And Amelia is on her way over because she's going to watch maths with us tonight because apparently every night this week I seem to have a different person watching maths with us. <laughs> yeah, she asked if she can pop over so she is on her way i think she should be here in a minute actually um and we're gonna sit on the sofa and watch maths in about 10 minutes time very exciting perfect time for dinner actually this is gonna be done on time isn't it and we've got abba on technically we've got an 80s playlist on we just asked to play an 80s playlist and this is what she came up with so you know great i actually need to check amelia's not here because i don't think my doorbell's working I've had such a good week like I've literally seen a friend every night this week and it's been so lovely so I've had like Amelia here then Ebony was here then Amelia was back here again and obviously James has been here as well and it's just been like it's been really nice like it's been really nice to actually just see my friends even though we're just sat on the sofa like not really doing much it's really nice but um oh James went to work at like half five this morning and I'm so tired it's only 7 30 and I'm I feel like I've been up for days, <laughs> but I'm going to get myself fully ready to go to the gym in a minute. I tried to go back to sleep. And you know when you try and go back to sleep when like your partner leaves work, it's so difficult. But I tried and failed. Um, so I've just been sat doom scrolling. And um, yeah, I did actually just get a parcel though. So I wanted to show you because 
um, I think I've mentioned already, but I'm going on a trip in a couple of weeks with some friends. We're going on a little girls trip. Um, so we're going to be away for like four nights, three nights, something like that. I can't remember, a long weekend. And um, we basically were booking our flight and the price of adding a cabin bag was the price of the flight per person. So for context, like say the flight was a hundred pounds, adding the bag was like 95, right? That wasn't actually how much it cost. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but it literally was the same price. So it wasn't even like, you know, sometimes it's like, oh, 20 or 30 or 40 pound addition. It was literally the same price. Um, and we decided that we just didn't want to pay double for these flights because that's ridiculous, especially when we're barely there for five minutes. Like if we were going for a full week and we were there for like six nights or something, I think I would do it. But for one, it's a hot place. So we're not going to need much more than like bikinis and stuff. And for two, we're not there for very long. So we went on a bit of a hunt on Amazon for like the perfect bag for under the seat. You know, like everyone on TikTok was hyping like these perfect fit under the seat bags. I actually think I might do a little packing video on TikTok. So um, my TikTok and my Instagram and everything is all the same username. So it's Jess M Shepherd. But um, I found one and I, I got it based on reviews that I'd seen. So I saw multiple people talking about it. And it's this one, which is like a, it's from a brand called Kono. Kono? Kono. But this one I saw on a lot of TikToks and I saw videos of people like putting it in the like baggage allowance thing and I thought Do you know what perfect one of my friends Rhiannon did actually buy like a mini case but I was like um I hate to break it to you but you do know the wheels are in that allowance so she's lost probably like that much because of the wheels and I was like love the idea but it's a hard case so you're not gonna be able to like cram it and also you've lost that space for like the wheels so I just thought this was a better option because for one I can kind of cram it a little bit more. Like if it's a little bit more overfilled, at the end of the day, it's still inside the bag and it still zips up. So I don't actually think they have that argument. But um, yeah, this is the one that I got. So I'll leave it linked, but it was like 16 pounds. I mean, it's a no fuss kind of bag, but it does have this bit, which goes, um, if you do have like a suitcase, you can just put the handle thing through, which I thought was handy for like future flights as well, because then if I use this as a bag for like my laptop and everything, obviously I can just slot it on. Um, if you have the Katie Loxton bags, which I do have and I do talk about a lot, they are actually too big by about 20 centimetres overall. So we were going to try using those because a few of us have got them, but I just don't want to risk it because for the sake of 20 centimetres and spending £16, they could basically make us then pay more. Do you know what I mean? Like they could turn around and say, oh, well, your bag's actually oversized. Like you need to put it in the thing. It doesn't fit. So you now need to pay like... 120 pounds or 150 pounds because you're paying on the spot so i just didn't want to risk it so i got this one but it's quite good it's a bit sturdy so like it's got i actually think that's quite big for what i thought it would be um but it's got that bit you've got a couple of like oh no it's one big zip pocket in the front so that's gonna be handy for like black so that's gonna be handy for like passport and stuff i guess um and i don't think if i remember right that it had many like pockets inside but it um it has got an over the shoulder strap which is quite oh it has got a pocket inside oh no it's got a few so it's got a couple of pockets in the front you know like the slippy in ones and then it's got a zip one in the back um and it's got the the shoulder strap which is handy but i actually think i might put my gym shoulder strap on it because it's got like one of the pad thingies um because i feel like this is gonna end up quite heavy but yeah just thought i'd share it because we're obviously hitting the point where people are starting to book summer holidays so i will do in a future vlog um me packing this i think i might do it in next week's because i might pack like at the beginning of next week just so it's done which is really bizarre for me because i don't normally pack that early but i just thought it makes sense because i'm not going to be using any of it i know in my head what i'm going to pack so maybe we'll do that in next week's vlog maybe i'll give you a bit of a packing situ i'm heading to have a work morning this morning with ebony which is something we've started to do every like couple of weeks because working from home is really difficult when you're working alone and sometimes it can be really like I, I just I miss human interaction sometimes and I miss having someone like sat with me also doing work and it's quite nice to change environment so we're gonna go to a little brunch place near us get a coffee get some food and just like get some work done so like edit reels or so like anything that involves not like physically filming a reel you know so I'm quite excited about that because it's nice we do end up not doing much because we talk a lot but I think we're gonna have to like purposefully like zone in and not just chat for ages <laughs> <laughs> which is quite difficult but um i'll show you my gym outfit in a second i'm gonna just put on the, another version stuff from yesterday but i'm actually gonna go with um actually let me do my face while we're 
while we're chatting away i've slightly mixed up my face routine pre-gym so i've been doing you know i said i got the estee lauder stuff last week i've been wearing the day wear as my like pre-gym skin and then i've been putting on my elizabeth arden spf and my nyx brow glue um because i find that to just be like quite a nice base and then i just go in with like a lip balm but i'm trying to keep it as minimal as possible when i go to the gym because I sweat when I'm working out, everyone does. And also when I get home, I'll always shower and then I'll like wash my face. I have lost my Lumi though. I don't know where it's gone. Somewhere between me getting home from Dubai and me unpacking all of my stuff, it seems to have gone AWOL because it died and I needed to recharge it, but I don't know where I put it. So I'm gonna have a little route for that in a minute because I do miss it. My skin doesn't feel quite as nice. So um, I need to find that again. I have to admit the day wear is lovely. If you are someone who doesn't really wear makeup or likes not wearing makeup quite a lot during the week, which is obviously me to a T. It's really nice because it has like this, I mean, don't quote me on this because I could be wrong, but my friend swears by it. Like one of my best friends literally uses it all the time. She loves it so much, especially for like work and stuff because she's a nurse. And um, it's SPF 15, multi-protection, antioxidant, sheer tint releasing moisturizer. So this is really hard to get hold of. I'm gonna get some more at the airport, I think, because it is so good. But it comes out like a bluey kind of, can you see that? It's kind of like a bit blue. And then when you put it on, it kind of like matches to your skin tone, which is quite cool. So it will just kind of even into, into what my skin naturally looks like. I haven't put enough on, I've got to drag it around a little bit. But um, it's really, really nice. And I think it just makes me look a bit more awake, which is lovely. So that's been my new base. So yeah, this is what the double wear is like in daylight so you can i mean i'm quite pale at the moment but you can kind of see it's just it evens out your complexion a little bit i do have quite dark eyes but that's fine it just it kind of gives you a bit of something this is making me realize i really do need to tan my my face i normally give my face and my upper like chest a bit of a spritz because for some reason tan does not stick here at the moment so i'm gonna give it a bit of a spritz tonight i think before i go to bed because i don't want to be sweating in the gym and end up patchy Right, I need to get going because we're aiming to get to brunch for 10. Okay, so I've gone for, you can't even see them, but my another version, <laughs> leggings. I've got this Ginny Hicks sports bra, which is actually super old, but I think I've mentioned before, these are really, really great sports bras. They're not that expensive. They're really comfortable. And I always find that they have good styles on sale. So worth checking out. Um, I'm going with this on top, which is just the long sleeved, another version matching to the bottoms I've got on. I just quite like working out in a t-shirt, especially where it's a bit nippy still, but it's weird because I feel like it's a bit cold, but they've also started cranking the aircon up. Whereas like obviously in the depths of winter, it was like the aircon wasn't on. So it started to get a bit chilly in the gym and I definitely am feeling the cold on some of the machines, you know where like the aircon thing faces it. So I thought just go long sleeve, long sleeve vibes for the day and be comfortable. And also if we're going to work somewhere, I wanna make sure that I'm not like really cold while we're working. Um, I'm going for plain black Primark sweatshirt as always. I've got little socks from another version. Again, as always, I always have these. <laughs> I wear them all the time. And then last thing, I'm gonna put on one of my Nautica jackets, which are brand new. I've just got them a couple of weeks ago and completely forgot about them actually. I bought them and put them straight in the wardrobe and then realized I haven't worn one, but I've got these two. So one is like actually very different for me, but I love it. It just, it, it spoke to me on the website and I thought it was really cool. So it's just a bit multicolored. And then this one's like a pullover track style jacket. Also very cool. These are both men's styles and I bought both in a small, I think. Oh no, mediums. I've got both in a medium, but I think I might go for this multicolored vibe because I quite like it. I think it's quite cool. Yeah. Gone for some overnight oats, the cute little heart. Um, Ebony's little gluten free <coughs> situation. <gasps> Yummy. What's on top? Like parsnip crisps? I don't know. I think they tried to make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We had an absolute fail of work morning because where we ended up going didn't have any Wi Fi. So we just had brunch and then I've quickly popped to Primark to do a couple of returns. And now I'm gonna get myself cozy on the sofa and do some editing on my phone, which speaking of, I actually don't know what I've done with my phone. I've put it down somewhere. It's probably in the bathroom actually. Nope. I don't know where I've put my phone. 
Oh, here we go. I always deposit my phone in random places around my house. I've got it. Let's get cozy and do some editing and relax. I'll try and remember to vlog some more too. <laughs> Good morning, gang. Happy Monday. I've just been and done the food shop at 4 p.m. And we've had a manic Monday, let's just put it that way. So James and I are off on a trip in a couple of weeks and well, I say a couple of weeks, in a few weeks. Um, and it's basically all changed last minute and we're very stressed because we now have to like completely rebook, replan, reschedule everything and it's stressful. So I'm gonna basically spend the rest of my afternoon. So we spent the morning trying to sort that out and like organize stuff and the afternoon is gonna be spent sorting out, like trying to come up with a new itinerary and stuff and like working out flight things and all that kind of stuff. So anyway. I thought I'd give you a quick grocery haul because I've just got back and I've remembered today. This is mainly my breakfast, lunch and dinner or my meal plan. James does eat sometimes dinner with me, but we also do have HelloFresh three nights a week. So this is four dinners, um, five. So this is four dinners, seven lunches, seven breakfasts, and then some. Does that make sense? Kind of no, kind of yes. I don't really know. Anyway, this is what I've got. <laughs> We've got these, which are a snack. These are really good. I'm obsessed with this popcorn, especially the sweet and salty. It's so good. Spinach, peppers. We've got some wholemeal rolls. We've got some baby gem lettuce, broccoli, absolute essential. Sweet potato, there is another one up over there. Um, this is a cabbage. It's just got a million stickers for other things on it because these are all the stickers that wouldn't stick to other things. <laughs> so I stuck them on the bottom of the cabbage. Libris, cucumber, courgette, medjool dates. I've never tried these, but Georgia has put them in my plan as like a snack with almond butter. So I'm going to give them a try. I've never tasted them before, apart from like in bars. So we'll see if I like them. We've got some beetroot, some apples, some carrots. We've got mayonnaise, uh, almond butter, baking powder, vanilla extract, decaf tea, because I personally like having tea just as like a comfort thing. Um, and I don't wanna overdo my caffeine every day. So I've got this one. You may well remember, I actually gave up caffeine about a year and a half ago. I've only recently started introducing it again and I have one a day max. So this is kind of my way of being able to have an afternoon cup of tea without being like A, wired all night and B, just it's more of a comfort thing. <laughs> Then we've got some Alpro Greek yogurt, we've got bananas, we've got garam masala, which I'm not really sure what this is, but it's in one of my recipes from Georgia. We've got almond milk, we've got chopped tomatoes, butter beans and kidney beans. Tofu, I've never tried this one, but this one was on offer, so I thought I'd give it a go for today. And it was cheaper than buying this style of tofu, although this one was also, so this one was £1.50, this one was £1.75, but this was on offer. So I thought I'd just try both. And they're actually the same grammage as well, which is good. Well, they're like 30 grams different, but even so. Turkey burgers, chicken. These are turkey sausages over here, tucked away. This rice, the risotto rice, and then chopped tomatoes. I do obviously have like some of the stuff in the cupboard, although not much. So this kind of just tops up what I do need. Although annoyingly, I do have butter beans and chopped tomatoes in here already. I should have looked before I went. I know it's my own fault. So I try and avoid buying too many things each week. And I find with a meal plan, it's really good because my meals are different every week and stuff. But I do find I end up sometimes buying a lot more than I normally would in like random ingredients. So like, for example, if I need like miso paste for one recipe or something. So. I try and make sure that I'm like really going through what I've got and trying to make sure that like everything gets used up. So as long as I know that I eat everything, most of this does typically get eaten. I'd say all of the veg and stuff, it's just like if my meal plan's like four of these, then obviously the rest of the pack is left over, but I'll have them as a snack like another time or something. So it's fine, it's all good. It's just annoying ingredients and things that you obviously can't help but buy like big amounts of. But other than that, Everything is dandy. I just need to find places to put it all because my cupboard is getting very full. I only have one food cupboard in this whole kitchen. So we have one food cupboard and one that's like spices and stuff, which is like a thin little teeny tiny one. We just don't have any space in this kitchen and it's really stressful trying to fit two people's worth of food and all our like pots and pans and stuff, which by the way, live under the sink because there's nowhere else to put them. Like this kitchen is just too small. And I think that's the case with a lot of flats. Like every flat I've lived in in London, bar my last one, the storage was so bad. So it is stressful, but it's just one of those things you have to deal with in a flat. Can't help it, you can't make it better. They're 95% of the time like a random wall. So it is annoying, but it's something I'm used to from having the same situation for so long. Good morning gang, it's Tuesday. As you can tell, I'm having a busy work day, which is why I'm like dressed and like looking put together, not like normal when I'm just sat on the sofa. But I just had 
the best morning. So I woke up, went to the gym like normal, and then I actually booked onto a reformer Pilates class because there's a studio that's like, I wouldn't say like close to my house, but like close enough for me to get to without having to travel like 45 minutes or something, which is what I would have had to do if this one hadn't opened. And I booked onto the class and I was actually the only person in there. So I basically just had a private one-to-one -one Pilates class on the reformer machines and it was so good. Like I don't feel like I'm sore yet like my shoulders are starting to feel a bit sore but for the most part i know it kind of takes like 24 hours to start feeling it from pilates and i'm so excited i've actually booked two more classes so i'm actually doing a friday and a wednesday session next week as well and i just feel really good like i, I like it I, I love lifting weights and i love going into the gym and doing that kind of thing but i also love doing like other things so just mixing up my workouts a little bit so that i don't get bored and pilates specifically reformer pilates i've wanted to try for ages so i'm really glad that i got to try it and i'm glad that i love it like i did it a few times a couple of years ago and i liked it um so it's nice to have done it again but some new bits just turned up from way which is a really gorgeous hair care brand so i wanted to quickly show you what's in here because it's all gorge um, trying to work out where to put you that's going to be like a good that works as a good enough spot this this will do so they sent it over in a box covered in little stickers which I actually wish I could pull off because this one is so cute it just says tropic like it's hot and then there's like a passport and stuff I wish these were able to be like peeled off but they're like really stuck on there I did try and get this one off but not having much luck. This is the new St. Bart body cleanser, body cream, and scalp and body scrub from Way, And I really like their products. So I've tried mainly their, actually no, tell a lie, I have tried a lot more. So I've got a body cream already. I'm not sure of the scent of that one. I don't know if they do more than one scent, I can't remember. But I've got a perfume, I've got a body cream, I've got the curl cream, I use the hair oil every day. I've got the scalp um, scrub that I use every day. I've got shampoo and conditioner, which I haven't used yet, but it's in like a backup, ready to be used as soon as my current one runs out. So I'm still using the this one, the Sheer Moisture range, the Hydrate and, is it called Hydrate and Re Repair? Something like that, but it's the blue one. Really, really good. I found that it's going down very, very slowly as well, which I love because it's not too expensive. But anyway, these are the products. So these are um, Tropical St. Bart's Scent. Um, perfect for whenever you're not feeling like a basic beach love that um so we've got the body cleanser this cleanser is infused with our st bart scent that has notes of dragon fruit orange blossom tuberose and musk oh love that so this is use it in your hands um use your hands in the shower and yeah so we've got that then we've got the body cream and then we've also got the scalp and body scrub in the St. Bart scent. But how aesthetic is this packaging? I love it. It's so beautiful. It looks really gorgeous in your shower. Or like, you know if you keep products out on the side that you use, but you also have them for like aesthetics? That's really good for this kind of thing too. Because I personally love leaving products like lying around. Um, and I like when they're aesthetic. Just, you know, suck for the aesthetics. Let's give this a... Oh my god, I can smell it already. Oh my god, this smells like, it smells like coconut, but like a really fruity, like pina colada style coconut. It smells insane. Oh my god. If I hadn't already covered myself in moisturiser this morning, I would be using this right now. But I might try it out tomorrow morning when I get out the shower, because that smells insane. And this is a... 212 gram tub as well, so that will last quite a while really really good i can't wait to try these so thank you very much to way for those i am obsessed the packaging is so aesthetic i'm just obsessed i'm gonna give them a go tomorrow slash like when i wash my hair um because i have already showered and stuff today so i don't need to do it again but this did also come yesterday which i ordered from asos i i fell into the hype it smells insane i have it on at the moment and i quite like it because it's more summery as well so this is like actually had this have already turned up, I wouldn't have bought this, but I'm obviously already, I now have this too. So I can alternate, you know, I can use both. But I really like this. I know it's hyped all over TikTok. It's the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, but it smells really, really, really good. And I love this. This is supposed to be a firming one. Um, can't say I'm overly bothered about the firming part of it, although it would be nice, but I just really like the scent. And I love that it just like sinks in straight away and you don't need much of it to like spread it round. So that has been a favorite. I do have the travel size as well. So I bought the travel size 
about a week ago I think and I've been using that with the little spray and stuff I'll leave this all linked but it comes with a spray shower gel and the um like mini version of that and I thought get that to try the scent and see if I like it and see if I like the consistency before I fork out because it is expensive and I really do but handy because now I've got the mini pot so when I travel I can just like decant some of the bigger one like into that or you know just like other things in the future as well like just use that as my travel moisturizer tub um which is really really handy so yeah that's my little parcel for the morning i need to get on with filming i'm very much procrastinating today and i'm not doing any work i think it's like 11 o'clock now i actually don't have my phone on me it's somewhere around the house oh it's here it's yeah it's 11.04 so i'm gonna crack on get some bits done and then it's actually one of my pal's birthdays today so this evening, I'm heading over to her house. I'm gonna get some big balloons on the way because it's her 30th. So we're gonna have a little girls night in, um, three of us, which is gonna be really lovely. Get a takeaway, just eat snacks, watch maths, and celebrate her birthday. God, I cannot deal with the fact that the house is so messy. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna do in the morning is tidy. Oh, hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Ebony's gonna tidy in the morning. This is a mess. It's not a mess. We're off on a little staycation tonight with Audi. They are picking us up in, it's like the Q8, isn't it? Q8 e tron or something. Yes. Something like that. So, very fancy car, but we're off to the Cotswolds for a night. So, I just thought I'd chuck on like bodysuit, wide leg trousers, we've got some little trainers on, and we're gonna go do some pasta making, drive some cars, and have a nice little staycation. We're actually really there. We've been chatting the whole way. We did stop for a little Costa, so we've got our little drink stash, but Cotswolds is so beautiful. I'm really excited to see our hotel. Um, what, is it, what is it called? Time? The place we're staying. I think it's called Time. I don't know if that's the name of the restaurant. I don't know. We'll see in a second. We'll find out in a minute. I'll put it on the screen, like yeah, always. But time, it is called Time, time isn't it? Yeah, you're going to the I'm dropping your farm out. It's been so horrible. I didn't bring a coat, did you? Yeah, I've got my leather jacket. Ah, uh, I didn't, which means spring is. Oh, well, I only have it because I'm literally wearing a t shirt and then oh, I chucked in true. a jumper just in case I need it. But I'm sweating in here. Your hair looks very cute. Thanks. No, I'm not. I'm wearing a t shirt, you're in a jumper. Oh, yeah, and a long sleeve underneath. <laughs> <laughs> we've, um, we've left Buddy with James for the night. Oh, James is on the puppy wonder, duty. I, can you imagine them cuddling on a sofa? Oh my god, should we get him to send us pictures? Yeah. He probably will. <laughs> He'll be like, look, Buddy's asleep on the sofa. That would be so cute. But they're having a boys' night together. Um, and we are off for a girls' little yeah, staycation, yeah. so expect lots of fun. We just got to our room and um, it's perfection. Like, <laughs> genuinely the most stunning thing. And I said to Eb, if we had our bikinis, we would be getting in this tub together and having a cup of tea. <laughs> because <laughs> it's lush. Also, we're both so small that we'd easily fit with room. Yeah, we would too. <laughs> Let me show you. So, we're staying at a place called Time, and this is our room. So, we've got this gigantic bed, which, Ebony, please stand here so we can show how big the bed is, because I don't think we're going to be able to get on it. <laughs> it's so big, but stunning. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, you sunk into that. Is it squishy? It's comfy. <gasps> Oh, we're going to sleep so, that is so comfy. Oh my God, we're going to have the nicest sleep. So that's the bed. And then we've got this, well, we've got like a little tea and coffee set up here. Um, cutest little window. And then we've got a tub, lush, but look how long it is. It's huge. Um, little mirror here, cute little selfie spot. And then look out of the window. It's so pretty. I love it. It just looks so like, ah, uh, I love it. And then this is our little bathroom in here which is just, again, looking out over some really cute gardens. Love that. We've got a little shower over here. Lush, very, very cute room. And um, the entire hotel, to be fair, is stunning. Like the entire thing is beautiful. Mm -hmm. But apparently we are heading downstairs in a minute to go for a cookery class. They have a cookery school in this hotel, which is insane. So we're gonna go for that. And then we're heading to drive the Audi, which is the Q8 
e-tron so we're gonna go have a little drive of that and then we've got free time before dinner so i think we're gonna go have a little wander around and see what's here we did find out there's a spa and an outdoor pool but didn't bring our swimmers so can't use it which is really annoying but if we'd have known obviously we would have bought our stuff well i mean we kind of did know but we didn't think we'd have time so that was a bit of a shame but otherwise stunning obsessed love it love a good hotel in england as well and it's like english countryside vibes but not like creepy old vibes because we all know my ghost story from a few weeks ago but um this is beautiful we've just done a pasta making class i'm gonna put the clips in now so you can see that um we made gluten-free pasta it was a bit of a situation i'm not gonna lie so we <laughs> we did it first and it was like the weirdest consistency ever it was like dry and it should have been wet um so we did that then he remade it for us and then we made what was it called tortellini yeah and it was really good but um this is the clips from that It's um interesting <laughs> compared to the others. Like look how perfect we have. And then um Hey, ours is perfect, <laughs> just different. Authentic. <laughs> homemade <laughs> and then now we are in the audi q8 we're gonna drive to dalesford organic and then i think we might just have a little mooch around and then come back because <laughs> we thought we'd get some snacks um get some coffee and we stuff. made a friend over there made a friend because we didn't know what we were doing yeah we we're gonna go on a little adventure Let's see what we can go. find oh god the seatbelt just tightened oh on me god, did you want to do that <laughs> That was hilarious. Get <laughs> I was like, what's it oh, tightening? Electric car is just murdering. Oh, so funny. Um, Died yeah. by strangulation. <laughs> How did you die? Audi Q80. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, we're going to drive, so I'll give you some little clips of the road this and stuff. Is but luck. Cotswold is stunning. I can see why everyone moves here now, I'm not going to lie. Good morning, gang. We had the nicest dinner ever last night it was so delicious um and we're staying in time i think i've already said we're staying at time but it's so beautiful here like me and Edney were saying we definitely need to come back for like a spa trip because they have like a beautiful spa here that we haven't even been to and they also have um like cooking classes and stuff which is what we did yesterday for pasta making and he said that he would tailor one to like whatever we wanted to do so if we wanted to do like a roast one he'd help us do that or like whatever it was we decided we wanted to do so i think we might come back and try it because it's so nice it and we're gonna have a little look around the gift shop in a minute because there's like a little shop and it's basically like the family like illustrate loads of stuff and like make all these prints in it it's honestly stunning um and they've also got like a cosmetic it's like a beauty like range isn't it like skincare and like yeah. hand wash and stuff it smells amazing. yeah it smells like very like english mm. <laughs> but it's really good so we're gonna go have a look around the yeah, shop it smells like it's like fields like, yeah like nature like herby yeah but we're, um, yeah, we're gonna have some breakfast now. I don't know what I'm gonna have, but we're gonna have some breakfast and then head back home. And then I've got a PT session with Georgia, so uh -oh. pray for my legs. <laughs> I'm gonna be so, she's gonna kill me. Yeah, it's gonna is. be bad. There is a dog there though. Yeah. That means you can get some cute dog cuddles. I'm just. <laughs> You're not thinking about the dog right now. <laughs> <laughs> But it'll be fine and then I've got friends coming over for dinner as well. So that'll be really nice I just I feel like I've put too much socializing on a day where I really shouldn't have had too much socializing. So um, Is that an error? Probably. Prob, but I've done Prob. exactly the same. Oh, yeah, you have. 